One of Australia's foremost naturalists, David Flay, has been studying the platypus for close to 50 years. Today, at his fauna reserve in Queensland, visitors can enjoy an assortment of Australian exotica, but it is the platypus most tourists come especially to see. Well, he, he's uh, going through his ordinary routine now. He's out feeding and swimming, and uh, when he's had enough of that, which goes on for about 10 hours, you know, right into the night, he goes back into these tunnels and curls up and goes to sleep. It was almost 40 years ago that Flay gained worldwide fame as the first person to breed a platypus in captivity. It began in 1943 with a couple named Jack and Jill. Taken from the wild, they adjusted well to captivity and became unusually tame. Not long after mating had been observed, Jill stopped eating and disappeared into her nesting burrow. Flay suspected she must be ready to lay eggs. It was roughly eight weeks before we thought, as, as the information was at that time, that at eight weeks the, the baby should be able to uh, crawl about and swim. So we took the uh, risk of opening up the tunnel at the, this, this point and um, having a look. I felt that somehow that we were doing the wrong thing, and as a pre it was the wrong thing. We found she had one solitary young one, nice and fat and, and uh, in good order, but it was blind and helpless, and obviously couldn't either swim or walk. We'd opened that up much too soon. We, we left things alone and just watched carefully from that point on, and then, at another, a further rate, that's 16 weeks altogether, we opened the, the back of the tunnel again and found that the baby was, was alive and well. That is a tremendous relief. Well, it was relayed around the world. It, it was uh, announced, I think, in New York and London. The plant was, of course, a fabulous animal. It uh, has always attracted a lot of attention. And it was considered impossible around about the 1930s for one to live in captivity for more than a few days. After all the years of effort, it was a tremendous thrill. We put the flag up that day. Four decades later, not even Flay has managed to breed the platypus again. 